And now we're gonna rouse it up. them to uncrank to uncrank themselves so that's the important thing is that they, that they learn that they can take that excitement level they can emotionally regulate themselves and they're going to do that default position and then we're going to ah oh, very good So we're going to bring the dog in. Sit. Good. We're going to teach it a default position by telling it a few times, letting him practice it. I want to bring him in. Come in here. Come in here closer to me. Come in here closer to me. Come in here closer to the camera. Yes, good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. So if we're doing nothing or if something shows up that the dog's a little uncomfortable with, I want them to go into this sit position and maintain it. Yes, that's very, 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 very good. good. And then I want them to be able to Get a little bit aroused. And then maintain the sit. Do a take a breath. Let him chew. So the default position is the position your dog is going to assume when they come across a situation that they're concerned about, feel uncomfortable with, or or just um, or are just uh, um, the position they assume because they know that that's reinforced, uh, and and you create that position by reinforcing it. Uh, the whole definition of reinforcement is the behavior increases, so that's what we're doing here. We're going to bring the arousal level up a little bit, not too much, and then we're going to have the dog learn that they can unengage themselves, that they can regulate their emotional state of being. And at that point, we're going to do a take a breath, which is a biofeedback from Dr. Karen Overall, and then... We're going to be all done. You're a good boy, Finn. You were the bestest boy. Bestest boy. Thank you.